guys hello guys welcome back to sysposs and adam channel today we are going to talk about how you can export and document all validation rules of given sysposs objects in your sysposs org so sometimes it becomes really difficult to track and maintain all of the validation rules in your sysposs org especially if you have many uh, validation rules so in some cases one object might have 50 or more up to 100 validation rules so for example account object sometimes get very much bigger so that the validation rules grow on it uh, very very rapidly so if that is the case um, you would like to sometimes document these validation rules right at some point in your project so that if there are any changes happening to these they need to be properly laid down as the requirements right so how you can access these uh, from salesforce org is this is how you can do that so go to object manager i have selected account and if i scroll down at the end it is showing me validation rules so from there what i have selected this option and i can see there are two validation rules i have created for demo purpose in my developer edition org so you could see these two validation rules so now <laughs> let me show you how you can export these validation rules details to a csv file and you can open that csv into excel application right so let me log into pack magics using the salesforce credentials so i'm going to select my salesforce developer edition org and with my username and password i'm going to log in just going to request me uh, if i allow access so that it can access the validation rules so i have logged into the home page of pack magics and here is what we need to do um, so i have to click on the export validation rules button and it will show me the objects which i can select uh, which i want to it to export the validation rules right so i'm going to select account for now as a example but you could select multiple objects here whatever custom objects you have uh, the validation rules and once i select and i click on get validation rules button so it's going to take a minute or two yeah so it has uh, Um, it has fetched all the validation rules for this object, and as you can see, there's object name, the rule name. It, it shows me whether it's active or not. It has a description. It is. It it also has the error message. So this is quite helpful in case um, you have got an error message, uh, validation rule error message uh, on user, and you want to find out uh, this message is coming from where, right? so probably you could just uh, copy that message and uh, once you export all these validation rules you can just type it here and find it so it will find you the validation rules for which that message is coming from right so that would be very easy for you to find it out and then it also shows me the criteria what is the criteria for this validation rule yeah and it also shows me the error fields on which this would be displayed so this is um pretty easy to get uh, export so for example if i want to download this list of validation rules i could just click on download as csv and um, i'm going to open it in libreoffice since i'm using linux but in your case you can open it in excel the csv file yep so this is csv file i've opened and it can very well showing all the information about the validation rules i i need it so that would be very easy for you to document the validation rules in your org and also analyze in some cases so thank you very much for watching this video uh, if you have any suggestions comments please do let me know in the comments area thank you again bye